And now the man who knows that no matter who the guest is, the show is always about him. The host of Wind Funnel, Dino Bravo. I am entertaining, and I know what viewers like you want. I've been behind the wheel of a race car, I've been underneath the race car, turning the wrenches. I've been on both sides of this desk. I've been behind the camera, I've been in front of the camera, and I will bring 30 years of motorsports journalism to you in your living room. Dino Bravo on the Wind Funnel. Welcome to Rapids Raceway. Great to have you aboard. Mike Kristoff joins us on the Wind Funnel. How you doing? Great, Dino. It's good to be here. Well, it's good to have you here. Of course, this man, the, if you're a little out of sync, if you're a little out of kilter, it took me a few days to get my sea legs back, my, my post Kristoff wind legs back. <laughs> Talk about that big uh, big win. Of course, the win uh, coming last time out at Franklinland Speedway when you set the HOCC world on its ear, my friend. Congratulations. Tell us about it. Thanks a lot. Well, it was, uh, it was a good night. You, it, everything came together, like the ovals a lot, obviously, and uh, the car was great. And I got lucky, too. I mean, let's face it. You got lucky? Well, how? Well, how? You got, you got lucky? I did get lucky. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we got a storyline right here, folks. Winning, winning brings you many, many perks. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, good for you. Well, hey, tell us about uh, tell us about about the uh, the last two weeks and and what it, the post win has been like. Well, the media, uh, you know, has been all over the place. I've been extremely busy. Uh, you know, uh, talking to numerous columnists have been writing about me. And you've been on the funnel. And I've been on the funnel now. I mean, this is the capper of the whole thing. I mean, if this makes my whole season right here, just uh, if I knew that winning would have gotten me here on this show, I would have won a lot sooner. Wow. And tell us about uh, one of the storylines after the win was your boss of Hindsight Racing, Jerry Hindsight, and uh, have you heard from him? Yeah, he actually talked to me for the first time in, uh, in several weeks. Uh, I had heard it had been years. Yeah, I guess I haven't been, you know, keeping all that close uh, track, but yeah, uh, you know, I, I actually, I saw him. He shook my hand. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Jerry Hindsight. So huh. it was very cool. He even put out a press release, uh, you know, congratulating. So. Did it mention you by name? Uh, I, I, I guess maybe I didn't, I didn't read it all that closely. I, I would have assumed so. Did he sign his name for you, bottom right-hand corner of a check? Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm, I'm told it's coming. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh huh. They said there were just uh, some kind of paperwork to get it cut. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All righty. Last call here on the wind funnel. Dino Bravo with Mike Kristoff. I'm going without a list here, my friend. So uh, <clears throat> work with me. Ginger or Marianne? Oh, Marianne. Coke or Pepsi? Coke all the way. Blondes or brunettes? Do I have to choose? Brunettes. Milky Way or Snickers? Snickers. I'm not. <laughs> there you go. There you Spaghetti, meatballs, or meat sauce? Meat sauce. Those meatballs are messy. Yeah. yeah. Mike Kristoff on the wind funnel. Congratulations on that big win. Good luck the rest of the season, my friend. You know, you're always welcome here on the funnel. Thanks, Dino. That'll do it. HOCC TV. The HO Champ Car World Series goes street course racing here at the Rapids International Raceway. It's a race through the downtown of the city of the Rapids. And Mark, uh, we're talking sight lines at this track, aren't we? Sight lines is right. We had problems here last year. There was one major issue last year. One, the horseshoe on the inside, big building there. The building is now gone. It's leveled. You've got a couple small buildings in there, but still coming down that far back stretch. Can you see going into those last corners? No, it's a, t a totally blind corner, which is going to really provide some great shots for you folks at home. But 14 cars here again. The field is growing. We are strong in the HO Champ Car World Series. Could have been 15. Amy Butler is on her way out to down to Mexico to bail out Larry Rotter and Jessica Simpson. Larry's not here. He's in Mexico with Jessica Simpson. And they're and Amy had to go bail him out. Bail money? It was either that or Tony Romo, and I guess she didn't want to call Tony Romo, so she had to go get him. All right, so they're gone. They're to Mexico. We're here at the Rapids, and it's time to go racing here. H.O. Champ Car World Series style. The Rapids Grand Prix is next. <laughs>
Hey, we're at the Raptors Grand Prix, right? Yeah, last I checked. Cool, uh, I hope so. Yeah, that car in the first place with the cowboy hat, that's RJ Foyt. He, he's pretty mean to me, but uh, his driver's in first place, so that's Mike Fitzall. And the next, that's, uh, that's John Shea. Uh, he did pretty good too, eh? Yeah, he's on outside front row, and he's pretty fast here, but look at this. This is a surprise. Who is this? We have to look through our notes. That's not Dean Strong. That's the car Dean ran last year. That's a, a rookie. That's Mike Lack. Half Lack. That's Mike Lack. He's qualified third inside second row and outside. Speaking of surprise, this guy won the whole deal last week. That's Mike Kristoff. Hey, this guy's a local legend out here. That's F Kamakawa. F the legend, Larry the legend Kamakawa. And, uh, Who's this guy here? Uh, oh, that's Dean Strom. I almost forgot about him. He's going to win tonight, just you watch. This here is the defending race champion, Jim Ivers, and he's kind of back in the pack, and so is the guy next to him. That is Mark Walzak. He's fast, but will it last? Hey, who's this guy? He's got the same number as uh, Dean's car. Who's that? That that's uh, uh, you got a lot of RacingNation.com guy. What's his name? Weedman. John Weedman. Oh, yeah, hey, Weedman. And uh, that car there, that's Tom Spirit and McDonald's car. All kinds of rookies here. Here's another one. Different look. Same rookie, but just different look. That's the number nine car. That's Matt Hayek. And alongside of him, that's Chris Spirit in the McDonald's car. Hey, look at that car. The Barbie car is broken. What's Ken going to say? That's Andy Spirit in that dang Barbie car. And next to him in the last place, that's Dan Marquetta. What happened to that guy? And speaking of what happened to the guy, what happened to Larry Rodder? Yeah, where's Larry Rodder and Amy Butler? That's the one that makes us. Where are they? They're on their way to Mexico. So that's the field for the Rapids Grand Prix at the Rapids International Raceway. Race number one at the Rapids Grand Prix is ready to roll off. We've got John Shea. No, we don't have no, John no. Shea. We got Mike Fitzloff as your pole sitter in this one. Oh, push, push for the car. Oh no, John Weedman had a slow start, and the early lead does belong to your your pole sitter. It's there. Oh, Margetta just went second story on that on that corner. Luckily he brought it back on a tracker. That would have been a nice little stop and go to start off his wonderful day here. It's good to bounce off the buildings. If you can use the buildings to bounce yourself back on the track, that's uh, probably a best advantage of, of having them built right up against the uh, the track. That is, you know, we got we got Fitzloff out here running away with this. Time running down and Mike Fitzloff easily winning this first heat race. He took the pole and is advancing to the final. All he has to do is keep it on the track. Margetta is running second, but very far behind. And then our uh, two rookies here, John Wiedemann running third, and Matt Hayek struggling with the handling around this tight rapids course. Time runs down, and there we see Fitzloff make his final turn around the track. Margetta trying to park him. Oh, Dan, as usual, doing the uh, the dangerous driving out there. Look at him shadowing the race leader, and Fitzloff just stays out of trouble. It is the second heat race. John Shea, Andy Spirit, and another rookie tonight. That's Mike Lack. Andy with a slow start. And the early lead. Look at that. Mike Lack out front. First race here in the HO Champ Car, and he is leading Team Australia HO, John Shea. Bit of a home track for the Team Australia crew. Here comes John now, challenging Mike for the lead. They're side by side, going behind the blind corners. John pulls out a bit of a lead. Mike comes right back at him. Very close. And a spin by Shea puts Lack out in front. All right, Mike Lack has put himself out front now over John Shea, and of course that brings us to the Aflac yeah. trivia question. Tonight's question is: What was who was the last rookie to win a race on the HO Champ Car World Series in their rookie year? In their rookie year, of course, of course they're rookies; they have to have their rookie year. <laughs> so, right now we see Mike. Black leading right now over John Shea. All right, and the answer to the 
Jeff Lack. Trivia question. Is Mike Fitzloff was the last rookie to win in his rookie season? Uh, and that was 2006 when he won at HO Road America. And now we see some lap traffic. There's the Barbie machine coming through. There we saw it go by. All you uh, Barbie fans out there, don't worry, your car's still there. I, I heard they got Skipper working in the pits trying to fix that front wing. I don't know if they got it fixed right. I'm not sure. They might. Who's Skipper? Is it the dog? <laughs> uh, I believe that was her girlfriend. Oh, I'm not I'm not up in my Barbie terminology. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Time continues to run down, but Mike Lack is pushing. He's come right up behind John Shea once again and challenging for the lead. There he is, side by side with him, coming down this. Oh, there he goes. Into the horseshoe. Shea takes the lead again. Oh, and he spins, puts it on his head. Oh, and that costs him right there. That puts him down about uh, three, maybe a half a lap, three quarters of a lap. He continues to shrink that lead, though. Time's ticking away, and John Shea holds on by just that much. What a finish. A nice job by Mike Lack. Eb Kamikawa in this heat race, and then you've got Mark uh, Walzak and Tom, uh, Chris Spear. Chris Spear. Chris Spear. The Team Spirit car. All right, Ev Kamikawa out front early in the green and yellow Team Australia HO car. We just saw his teammate win the second heat race in a battle with the rookie, Mike Lack. And in the meantime, we expect to see now Chris Spirit running second. You're looking there at the tallest building in the city of Rapids, the landmark of the city that this whole race course was built around. And right there in the top floor, the penthouse suite, that's where Ev Kamakawa resides. He looks out his front window when he wakes up in the morning and he sees this racetrack, so he knows it that well. It, it, that's what makes him such a favorite here because, you know, Kamakawa is Rapids, isn't he? Absolutely. I mean, there would not be a town of Rapids if it weren't for Ev Kamakawa, really. I mean, you can ask anybody in town. That's right. They say that. Rap in fact, they, they were going to call it Kamakawa, but it didn't sound as cool as Rapids. So they said, you know what, we'll call it Rapids. Yep. Where did they take the name from? Do we know? I, I think there are some Rapids somewhere here. Oh, okay. We're just not sure where. There may be the hidden Rapids. Some whitewater rafting going on nearby. I, I didn't realize the west side of the northwest side of Milwaukee had that. Anyway. Maybe it's underground. No, okay. Dino Bravo, that is not our broadcast booth that we're looking in right there. That is the LTN radio network booth. They're here to cover this big race here at Rapids. Uh, they are here uh, to cover this big race here at Rapids. And as you said, that wait a minute, who's who's that young impressionable guy in the middle? He's got a lot of he's got a lot of hair and big ears. What? So young looking. Who, who is that? I think that's our very own Dan Tommy Kendall. Ah, Dan Tommy Kendall, sure, yes, yes. Remember him well. He doesn't, uh, does he look like that now? Let's find out. <laughs> Mark Walzak has moved up to a four lap lead over hometown favorite Ev Kamakawa. The town is gonna riot on this news. Mark Walzak is not the, the most popular driver on the circuit. Walzak has certainly got his detractors, but when given the opportunity, as he has been tonight, of having a fast car with lots of straightaways, Walzak does capitalize. You have to give the devil his due. <laughs> side by side with Chris Spirit now, and that's where it ends. And Walzak advances. Four cars in this one, Dean Strom. Tom Spirit, Jim Iverson, and Mike Kristoff, and way out front, who is that? That's the hindsight car, the one that won last week. It's Mike Kristoff. Oh, Kristoff had a problem there. That will give the lead to this guy right here. This blue and white car you see going by, that's Dean Strom. Many people picked him to win this race. He finished strong here a year ago, finished in third. Looking at this portion of the uh, Rapids Speedway. This is the blind corner. Many drivers cannot see where they go through here, and it's on their tiptoes throughout here all night long. As you can see, speeds are a bit down. But uh, cars really have to handle here as the drivers come blindly through this corner. They cannot see around the other side. And this is where all the action's happening, except when the camera's on. Then they all drive like grannies. 
Otherwise, they've been crashing here all night. We were going to show you some hot action here at the Rapid Speedway, but they've all decided to drive Miss Daisy for a while while we're filming. I guarantee you, I turn this camera off, there'll be carnage. Big developments here in the third heat race as Tom Spirit now has the lead, a little bit of a commanding lead, a lap lead over Jim Iverson, Dean Strom and Mike Kristoff who are uh, falling behind here. Strom is starting to falter in that green lane. And there, ooh, that was the leader that went off right there. That was Tom Spirit. Oh, a big swing and miss there by Dean Strom. He, he took a shot. He came up empty. Tom Spirit leading this thing as we're winding down. The boiler, calmly there. The boiler looking to be in the final here at Rapids, joining Mark Walczak and John Shea, if he can just hold on for about two more minutes. Oh, but there, the leader got taken out. That was, He got taken out again. And there's another car down here. That looks like Iverson. Iverson crashed. And he had a problem. He happened to crash in the... Oh, a big wreck. All kinds of crashing going on here at the Rapids. I'm not sure what's going on. There's another one. That looks like that was Strom going for a ride. It's ending. Oh, the crash of the wall was it. It's over. And I think the boiler won. It looks like it. They're shaking hands, but I think Tom Spirit is the winner. We'll check the scoring. Yes, it does appear. Tom Spirit has put the car in the final. Oh, it Dang it! RJ told me. <laughs> you okay? No! No? RJ told me I had to win. Otherwise, I have to. I gotta buy dinner next uh, next race. Where, where does he like to eat? Well, I think we should go to like Tumbleweeds or something. Texas Roadhouse, I yeah, bet. That's good too. They got nice steaks there. Well, good luck, guy. Thanks, little B. Hey, I hope you do good in this game. I know I only got going, five, I only got two quarters left. Going for the record or what? <laughs> you deaf, dumb, and blind kid? Yes. Yes? Okay. That song's about me. Hey, guy, what are you doing back there? Hey, mate, just trying to get my old radio to work here. Yeah. Hey, can you get the Bucks game on there? You know, I don't even know where the Bucks are, but uh, I got some duct tape. I'm on my way, so. Hey, hey, guy. Hey, guy. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, little Lee, what's going on? What are you reading there? Comic books? Comic books, no, just trying to find out where I can pick up a couple tents to uh, maybe run with Fitzloff here. So he's going to beat you? I've got three wins on the year, and they've all come from the pole position, and I started, what, seventh? So I've, I've really got no shot. I'm just trying to make laps. Just be careful you don't get wrecked. Who's going to wreck me? i seen that movie, Driven, and that guy crashed in the water, so I'm going to give you this in case you need to get some, some protection in the water. Uh, I appreciate it, you know. You got two fans? I have two of them. And as soon as I get some more money, I'm going to get a third one. Oh, but hey, how are you going to do against these guys in the final race? Uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to do okay, although I'm kind of nervous, uh, shaking a lot. Uh, I'm not sure this is what my cardiologist recommends, but we're going to give it a shot. Well, hopefully they have one of them things on hand that they can shock you with. Yeah, you're going to need that. I'll probably just tape it right to my chest so it's there right away. Here we go, Rapids Grand Prix, ready to go. You've seen all four drivers, we've talked to them, we tried to anyway. Oh, a slow start for Tom Spirit. First lap, led by John Shea. He's got the hometown team connection there, but Mark Walzak goes right by him, and then a wreck down in the corner that holds up, holds up Shea and Walzak, or Fitzloff rather. Walzak out front now, pretty good lead. And we, Dan, Tommy, Kendall, what exactly is that on uh, Tom Spirit? Well, we're not sure. We hear the he, he's he's it's taking things to the extreme. He says it's a pacemaker, but it looks like it's something else. It could be kind of extremist, don't you think? <laughs> I'm a little worried about that. Mark Walzak has built a huge lead. We're going to tap into the TKVHO team radio. It's actually the iPod oh. that he's he's got on. Oh, he I'm listens. Sorry. He he doesn't listen to the team during this broadcast or this race. He actually calms himself by listening to some kind of music, and we got, we we broke into it. So super secretive. Here it comes. Is that what I think it is? It sounds like Barry Manilow. Mark Walzak listens to Barry Manilow. Whoa, folks, we, we, we broke a story here. I'm not sure we're supposed to be listening to this, but it sounds like Barry Manilow. That explains why he's so smooth. I think so, yeah. He's real smooth. Yeah. 
Uh, By the way, did I tell you that Barry Manilow, he owes my father 75 bucks. Barry Manilow owes your dad 75 bucks? Yeah, he took my mom to the concert. I asked him what it was like. He said that man owes me 75 bucks. But Tom Spirit has been worried about his, his heart palpitations. He's got the uh, already strapped the defibrillator to his uh, body there just in case something exciting happens during the race. And we thought we'd listen in to the team radio, see if they're giving him any health advice. <laughs> The lead continues to be Mark Walzak here at Rapids, a comfortable lead as we race through the streets of Rapids. And she couldn't make it to the race, but her fans nonetheless put the sign out. There's the Hello Kitty sign for our very own Kitty Bo Peep. She'll be back at HO Road America next time. With Mark Walzak way out in front, which has been the story all year when he makes the final, he's been unbeatable. We thought, well, he's on a track busy. Our own Everett Bell has broke into the team hauler to see if he can find some speed secrets. We're going to throw it down to Everett Bell right now, who's inside the Mark Walzak team hauler. He broke in. Remember, he's not supposed to be there, so this could be good. Look at tons and tons of Leah Sophia jewelry catalogs. That's where he's getting his sponsorship from. Mark Walzak securely out front to win his fourth race of the season and continue to expand his points lead over his teammate Jim Iverson who uh, finished outside the top four tonight and uh, also Dan Margetta who also was uh, sitting in fourth place going to lose some points there as well. We miss Larry Rotter who's in Mexico and there you go Mark Walzak is your winner of the Rapids Grand Prix. All right, they're actually engraving the trophy even as we speak. Now, if you didn't uh, hear earlier the explanation of the trophy, you've got one of the buildings of uh, the, the original Rapids track there on the trophy, and then a collection of HO Champ cars all scattered around the track. The winner gets to put his name on the car of his choice. Mark Walzak has chosen that number 18 STP, uh, who's the, pr oh, the Conseco car. So there you see them engraving Walzak. Zach on to the trophy. Everett Kamakawa is here to make the presentation of the uh, Rapids trophy to Mark Walzak. Mark, you're making a real habit of winning on this track. Congratulations being the first winner of this brand new trophy and uh, good luck on your championship. Thank you very much. Here we go. Mark, tell us about the win tonight. Uh, I don't know what to say, you know, it just, things kind of fell into our lap here the second, second half here, you know, just trying to make laps and uh, I really got to thank John Schaefer choosing the lane he did. He kind of just gave me the one that I needed. You uh, come off a, a race where it was just disaster. Your car broke down. You finished 12th. This week you're back up on top. Tell us about your championship hopes. You know, it, it was nice. We extend the points lead. We got fast lap. You know, unfortunately for Jim, he, he finished, I, I believe, 7th this week. Um, but after, after the last race, too, extend it a little bit. It's nice, you know. Congratulations, Mark. We'll look forward to seeing you at HO Road America.